Uh, but actually, the name itself, Fugazi, the fact that it's from Vietnam is not really that important. The reason that we like the name was that we agree with the sentiment that of a fucked up situation. I think that's a, an apt description of the world we live in. Uh, furthermore, uh, the name is ambiguous. You know, if you know ambiguous, uh, it's enough that word. Uh, but actually, the name itself, Fugazi, the fact that it's from Vietnam is not really that important. The reason that we like the name was that we agree with the sentiment that of a fucked up situation. I think that's a, an apt description of the world we live in. Uh, furthermore, uh, the name is ambiguous. You know, if you know ambiguous, uh, it's enough. That word is open enough to interpretation so that people don't get like this instant, convenient definition. It's not important what the name means, really. I mean, ultimately, what's important is the band. Uh, names do not make bands. Bands make names. It's not. It's not something that we we. That we you know we plan for that, that has like some formula or structure. It's just what we play, you know. And it doesn't. There's no. Um, there's no. There's no definite. There's no definite message you want to get across. Perhaps. Of say course, the message is the band. That is the message. Is that perhaps? Uh, self-awareness in, in people hearing Fugazi? I think that we feel that a band, we understand a band is simply a band. And the message, of course, every song has thousands of messages in it. You know, we have, when we write lyrics, you know, sometimes we have like feelings that we're trying to put across. Sometimes we're not trying to put across anything at all. And that's a feeling in itself. That is a message when you're trying to be completely uh, nonsensical. Your music has uh, become quite popular in discos, along with, say, Bad Brains or Jingo to Lunch. Does that really surprise you? Well, it surprises me because I've never been to a disco uh, and never been to one where they played Fugazi. I don't. I mean, it's very different here than it is in America. So, you know. Well, over here, are you coming to terms with your acceptability of a mixed audience? That these days, punks and rich kids and skaters and hardcore fans all turn up for a Fugazi gig? Well, it's not that big of a deal for us because it's been like that in America all along, so... And America has always had a... Particularly in Washington, D.C., I mean, the, the kind of, those kind of... Again, those kind of categories just don't really apply in Washington, D.C. People are people, and, and, and uh, it's been so blurred in our area for so long that it almost seems stranger to come here and only have one kind of people show up. I'd rather appeal, appeal, you know, appeal to many different people because uh, I certainly don't consider myself one particular kind of person or anybody else in the band one particular kind of person. Uh, on this concert tour, I understand that you have complete control of the organization, that you're limiting the entry f to anywhere f to eight dollars. Is there any specific conception behind that move? Yeah, we we always feel that music should just be reasonably priced, you know. Are they off? Oh, okay. Um, we just feel like the music is something. Like we go see shows, we don't want to pay a lot of money to see them. So seems like fair enough. In America, we try to play for no more than five dollars. Uh, I guess over here it's eight, or you know, we try to go for as as low a door price as, as is possible, something that's reasonable. Um, Part of that is because we think music should be affordable. There is such a thing as economic discrimination, I think. It's called high culture. <laughs> and, you know, I've seen other bands charging as much as $25 in America, $30, $50. It just seems kind of ludicrous. And then you go in and they charge $30 for t-shirts, which is just bullshit, you know. Um, it sort of takes away from the impact, for me personally, of a band when you know because when I pay $25 to see a band, they better fucking entertain the shit out of me. It better be good. It's like when you go to a restaurant, if you should pay that much money for food, you know it better be, be fucking good. So in the same light, by charging a reasonable door price, I, we feel like we're allowed to suck. We don't have to be perfect because we're not a perfect band. We're not, a, we're not like a phenomenally talented, greatest band on earth. We're just a band. And uh, it's strange that so many people want to come see us. Um, but doesn't mean that we're going to charge more for them to come see us. Uh, yeah, we are in control of our organization, but that's, again, that's part of our autonomy. We feel that we will take full responsibility for the band and its actions. 
but we also must have full control over that too. And we don't answer for things that other people have to say about us.